happy I'll birthday happy. to her. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So I've seen the new season of Basketball Wives and I was really excited about doing an interview with you because a lot of people really, I don't feel like they get to see who the real Mika is on the show. <laughs> I'm glad you say that. <laughs> yes. So my first question is, what were your intentions and goals in doing the show? Well, my, my only intention was to show the world, like, there, there are married basketball couples that, you know, uh, are just, you know, really enjoying life together with their kids, teaching their kids the right way to do things. And I'm a businesswoman, so that was, that was also important to show that we're just not home, you know, eating bonbons with letting our nannies take care of all of our kids or three nannies for one kid, you know? Uh -huh. Definitely I'm a hands-on mom and my husband's a hands-on dad. And that's my choice. Okay. So how did the opportunity come about to be on this season? Um, Shawnee and I have a mutual friend. And um, she had brought it to me before saying, you should think about doing it. it. It would be a good opportunity to show the world that we're out there working, too. And um, just show another side of basketball-wise, you, know, you know, a married wife. And this time that she brought it up, this year, actually, I was like, you know what? thought about it, and it actually seemed like it was time, you know, it really was. I think that I felt the world was ready to see something like that, you know, more of like the luxurious side of being a wife mm -hmm. than with the, with the real side, meaning, you know, we take care of our kids, we're, we're hands-on, you know, we do have help sometimes, but for the most part, like I said, we're hands-on, and um, we're just a fun family, so I thought it was time to show something like that. Yeah, that... That sounds very great. And that's what I'm saying. A lot of people don't actually get to see that side of you on the show. So I thought it would be, I thought it would be great that I brought that out. So I know on the first episode, you and when you first meet Shani, you talk about a mutual friend named Jackie, I think, that you have. Now, is she a wife? Um, she's actually a fiancé. Okay. So the show... Um, how was the sh how was being on the show and being the only married person? Cause I know that had to be difficult. It, it was um, it was more difficult I think being the new person uh, on the show or the new cast member because you know initially you feel like there are clicks already and you know people have already formed opinions about the other girls, but now you have this girl coming in and what's she all about? And, you know, they have their guards up. So um, I think it was it was more difficult just being the new girl. And then on the side of, you know, me being married, it's, you know, you're in Miami and I'm there for work, you know, trying to open up my Miami branch. But it's, you know, party city. And my husband and I do, we do have a lot of fun together. We go out together and we separately with my girls and him with his boys. We do have a good social life too. But it's like... You know, the girls, they're not married and they're they out. Have fun. It is hard for me to kind of draw that line. Yeah, that, that, I felt like that would be the most difficult part. <laughs> <laughs> but they actually were very respectful of it, um, of it. So, you know, they, they kind of weren't trying to push me to do anything, which was, which was really cool. Okay. So I know you talk a lot about you wanted to show another side on the show, which I think is very beautiful. Do you think that you fulfilled that in this season? But um, we'll see. That remains to be seen. <laughs> well, I can't wait to watch. So, <laughs> just from the first couple of episodes of the show, uh, it seems like that you play both sides on the show. Now, when seeing that, how did you feel? Um, I was, I guess, being the person that's portrayed as playing both sides and knowing how you really felt going in. 
um, it was kind of confusing because for me, I was just getting to know everyone, and I am very, very nice. Um, that's just me. That's my personality. It wasn't that I was just nice to Shawnee, Evelyn, and Jen. I was very nice to Tammy and Susie when I first met them also. I was only hesitant about meeting Royce, which that was me prejudging, and they all did it to her too, so I don't know how I'm the bad guy for it, but, you know, it is what it is. I um, I really was just getting to know everyone, and even Royce, after we, you know, shared and we cleared the air about a few things afterward, we actually have been just getting to know each other. I've said that over and over again. It's not about, like, playing both sides. I don't bring conversations back. I don't know where that's coming from, but I definitely, I definitely, just like anyone would, you kind of do keep the things that people are saying in the back of your head mm -hmm. when you meet all of them. So it, it, your, your opinions sometimes aren't fully your own. It's, you know, it's um, influenced a bit sometimes. Mm -hmm. But um, I was able to just get to know all the girls. So, you know, playing both sides, that's, that's not it at all. I think it was more getting to know the girls. But it does seem like that. So, you know, I definitely as a viewer felt the same way. <laughs> I can agree with that. And I know I heard you on The Breakfast Club and you discussed some of these things. Now, it was really funny and I thought this was really funny. Charlamagne said, what did you think when you went down there with those birds? Now, from the trailer, it seems like you fall a little wayside to some of the drama that happens. Now, did you think that this would happen going in? You know, it was so funny when he said that. I was cracking up, so, you know, I feel you on that. But I um, I definitely knew, hi, Daisy. I knew that there was um, drama. I haven't, I haven't been able to catch all the episodes, but I did in and out of town. I would catch what, you know, because it was interesting to watch. But I kept wondering, like, why aren't they showing the other side? And, you know, when when I finally made the decision to say yes to my friend and, you know, let her talk to Shawnee for me, um, that was my biggest concern. Like, I don't want to be a part of that. The drama, you know, there's already, you know, the season ended crazy last um, Bizarre. season. So, yeah, so for me, I was like, I don't want to be a part of that. So... You know, my friend even said it before she called Johnny and said, you know what, I think if you just even just stay away from the drama, you'll be fine. And that was my goal, just to stay away from it, worry about work, get to know the girls, and, and I was going to be fine. But <laughs> when, you, when you're dealing with girls, you know, these girls are no exception. When you're dealing with a lot of girls, you already know it's a lot of he said, she said, or, you know, just a lot of um, just drama anyway. It's going to follow you. And um, you just have to learn that you can't always just overreact. And I think, you know, that's something that I took away from it. I, I can definitely see you taking that away from this. So would you say that through this experience, who do you feel like you grew the most to out of all of the girls? I actually, I have to say um, that I don't really, at this moment, I feel like I'm very, very close with any of them. I actually am still getting to know all of them because I'm not in Miami full-time. It's really like what you see on TV. I'm there having drinks, you know, when I'm there for the week to mm -hmm. work, and that's off-time. It was hard to really um, grow or like a real, real friendship with anyone, um, unlike, you know, uh, like Evelyn is there full-time and... You know, these girls are there, so they can hang out any time, all the time, or whatever. And, you know, that's just not me. I, you know, as soon as I'm done with work, I want to be with my family. Yes. So I really hadn't gotten a chance to get really close with anyone, so... Yeah, it seems, it seems as though when they showed you and your husband on the show that you guys are really a big family. Now, how did you meet your husband? Well, I met him in college, and um, we were friends first. We dated a bit in college, but we spent time apart when he got to the league because we both needed to grow up a bit. And um, we've been together and married for the last five, well, we've been together the last six years and married the last five. That is amazing. So, yeah, so things actually, 
worked out. And it's weird because I tell people now that I really do believe in this whole faith thing. Like, I, if I didn't believe about it before, if I, if I didn't believe in it before, I'm sorry. I definitely do now because you don't fight for anything. If it's meant to be, it definitely will be a year later. It was meant to be. So. Yeah, I definitely have to applaud you on that because... I can see a lot of different things that could be happening. I have friends that date players, and I commend you 100% for staying in your mix. <laughs> yeah, I definitely could have. I knew that that um, a young player just wasn't ready, and I was just like, I'm just not me. I have to do me. I'm. I know I'm very, very independent. My mom definitely instilled that in me. And she was married all the time. My parents are still married, but they, she always instilled, like, you have to have your own and do your own. So for me, I guess she kind of saw that, like, oh, she's not waiting around for me. Oh, I, I better, if I really want this, I got to shape up. So it's crazy, but it definitely happened. <laughs> so I know that um, you're into real estate. You talk about that on the show. Now, was that something that you planned or is that something that just came about in your life? You know what? Real estate just came about, and that's the honest answer. We were buying houses from all these people that didn't know how to handle the needs that we had because we're relocating, and they're like, well, okay, I need you to lock off these three days and come see these houses. And I'm like, no, my husband has a game. I don't want to fit that. So I knew what we needed. We needed people that could preview homes and people that can do a lot of the things for us virtually, and that's when I came up with this idea, like, you know what, instead of, you know, giving my business to everyone else, let me do it myself, and then I started helping other guys, and it's just been a beautiful thing. That is amazing. So, now, aside from basketball-wise, how do you, th how did your family react to you doing the show? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, that's the question right there. <laughs> My mother's actually in town, so I know she's going to crack up with this one. She was completely against it. Um, my husband and I, we were just weary on how, like like I said before, we could stay away from the drama and show us. And um, But with, with him, he really, you know, wanted to show this side, and um, I think that went out. But my mom, <laughs> she and, like, the older relatives, they're like, oh, my gosh, why is she doing this? <laughs> so they're, they're the ones that you have to be like, you just either ignore them or you just kind of let them know, sit them down and talk to them. Like, you know, I'm grown up. I make decisions for reasons. Let's sit back and just pray that it was for the best. <laughs> Okay, well, I want to thank you so much for your time. This was very amazing getting to know you. It, oh, thank you. It perceives a whole different vision from what people see on Basketball Wise. <laughs> when I first saw the show, I'm like, oh, my God, who is the new girl? I don't like, girl, I don't like that girl either, but it's all good. I understand. Um, it's, it's definitely an amazing journey either way. Like, right now, I'm at my, well, I was at my, um, my niece's graduation earlier today. And, like, all the kids are like, that's the new bathroom. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't mean to take the attention away from my niece or anything like that. It's just I didn't expect this at all. I thought people would just say, oh, she looks familiar, and keep it moving. But it's it's a lot different right now. But, um, like I said, it's an amazing journey either way. And I, I always tell everyone, if you want to get to know the real me, just follow me on Twitter. I'm on Twitter, and I'm all about my family, family over everything. So... Yeah. You know, just uh, follow me on Twitter at Mika Claxton. Okay, I definitely will.